very good morning everyone in this video we will discuss chapter number 7 of class 7th geography that is study of continent europe this video will be all about the topic factors favoring in switzerland there are various factors that favors tourism in the case of switzerland in our previous video we had discussed that tourism in case of switzerland is one of the most popular destination i mean switzerland is one of the most popular destination for the tourist people all over the world visited this place in a large number to enjoy the natural beauty etc now there are main various factors which favors tourism let's read them one by one starting from the first one is favorable climate because of the location there are because of the location no, of this place that is switzerland the because of the location of this switzerland itself its temperate latitude okay the location of the switzerland is actually is in temperate latitudes switzerland has a moderate climate what does it have it have a moderate climate summers are not too hot winters are cold with a heavy rainfall we i repeat the major point of consideration regarding this is the location of switzerland itself the switzerland lies in temperate latitudes which provides switzerland a moderately climate a moderate sort of the climate here winters no are actually cold with heavy rainfall but summers are not too hot at the same time this provide the opportunity for various winter sports this provides opportunities for various winter sports such as like snowboarding skiing etc favorable climate we had covered coming up to the second one natural beauty switzerland is actually covered by lakes mountains forest etc the glaciers available here the snow capped peaks of alps then their lush green valleys the glittering blue lakes provide a numerous location attractive to the tourist favorable climate we had learned next was the natural beauty this place is quite rich in lakes mountain forest glaciers snow capped peaks then uh, the snow capped peaks of alps available lush green valleys are there glittering blue lakes are there which actually attracts the tourist quite in a great number another favorable uh, factor for tourism in switzerland is early start actually tourism in switzerland no begin early in 19th century itself with british mountaineers climbing some of the high peaks of the alps it is also popular because of the medical tourism yes you heard me correct switzerland is also important because of the medical tourism alpine climate which is found over here is considered to be the ideal for the people who want to recover from the illness particularly tuberculosis so therefore one of the most favorable factor for tourism is early start tourism in switzerland starts in early 19th century it is popular for medical tourism at the same time the alpine climate found here is considered ideal for the people to recover from illness especially tuberculosis now later on what happened when organized tourist holidays begin to be offered all kind of tourists start traveling from different countries to switzerland itself and presently tourism is actually uh, you can say giving up okay it actually accommodates or accounts okay a large quite share of countries income a huge amount of countries income is actually accommodated by this particular tourism industry only so this was all about early start talking about the facilities for the tourist 
tourists enjoy here different type of facilities ranging from uh, the particular well connected roadways to developed airports even special type of transports are also available so talking about the tourist and their facilities Switzerland provides a major amount of facilities a great number of the facilities for the tourist there are various places lakeside villages modern hotels resorts excellent facilities where tourist can have a comfortable stay adventure seeker can also enjoy at the same time to banging mountaineering paragliding hiking biking etc are the activities that adventure seekers can enjoy transport facilities are well developed we had learned in the uh, last videos itself few of the videos were there in that there was a topic transport and cities where we have learned already that europe has a quite a well defined or a developed you can say this transport structure right their transporting system is quite well developed therefore the tourist also can just use it there is a dense network of roads and railways which connects switzerland with its neighboring countries at the same time even roads and railways are uh, i mean running through the places like alps there are several airports also that we have learned genova is one of them basel etc switzerland is actually a land locked country it has shipping facilities ferrying passengers by boats ship etc this all provides major type of the facilities for tourist special type of the transport such as like cable cars gondola lifts etc are also provided so talking about the facilities tourists here enjoy different type of the facilities ranging from a well connected roadways to even well developed airports resorts modern hotels adventure seeking activities like hiking biking paragliding etc then it is a land locked uh, i mean a ship locked country sorry it is a ship locked country in that case that means shipping facilities are easily available here okay because of the shipping facilities are easily available it is a land locked country also at the same time ferrying passengers by boats ships are the same thing available i mean the one of the facilities available special type of the transports are also available like cable cars gondola lifts etc so talking now about the next topic involves important tourist attraction in this one we will be learning regarding the important tourist attraction you can say in this case only what are the places uh, which are considered to be as important tourist attraction starting from the first one is the matterhorn what is that matterhorn the matterhorn is basically is having this place has steep faces and pointed peaks what is have what is is having steep faces and pointed peaks it is one of the highest and most famous peak of the alps it at the same time has highest and most famous peak of the alps which we are learning matterhorn the chalet which is present here is actually a small wooden house with sloping roof small wooden house with a sloping roof it actually serve as an excellent hotel and a restaurant to this place to prevent the air pollution motorized vehicles are basically banned here skiing facilities are available in the winter summer facilities hiking climbing biking etc to the nearby mountain are even a facility given in summer this was about the first one the matterhorn it has steep faces and pointed peaks one of the highest and most famous most famous peaks of alps it has chalet wooden house with sloping roof skiing facilities are even available in winter hiking biking etc are the activities done during summer next important tourist attraction is jungfrau church what is the name jungfrau church okay jungfrau church 
it is situated over 3000 meters above the sea level this place zumfra george is a region that actually have several high peaks of alps and it is situated over 3000 meter above sea level therefore it is called as top of europe what is it called as top of europe zumfra george is situated over 3000 meters above sea level it is a region lying between several high peaks of the alps and therefore is considered as top of europe the most popular thing done over here is actually a journey a journey to zumfra george by cogwheel railway is done which involves beautiful landscapes and thus is the best experience for the tourist zumfra george is the highest railway station in europe zumfra george is actually the highest railway station in europe this place actually offers an excellent view the longest glacier even begin in this region zumfra george so basically it is situated above or you can say it is situated actually over 3000 meters above sea level between several high peaks of alps thus considered as the top of the europe it offers excellent views the longest glacier even begin in this region the journey to zumfra george by cogwheel railway through the beautiful landscape is one of the best experience for the tourist here zumfra george is actually the highest railway station in europe moving towards the next one that is saint mortes saint mortes saint mortes is one of the world's top mountain destination saint mortes is one of the top uh, mountain destination it has various uh, glaciers mirror like lakes mountain forest etc this area is known for mountain sports such as skiing snowboarding skating also the best thing to be associated with this it's saint mortes has been hosting this winter olympics no winter olympics this saint mortes has hosted winter olympics twice talking about this again saint mortes is one of the world's top most mountain destination with mirror like lakes mountain forest etc this place offers mountain sports such as like skiing snowboarding skating also this place has the distinction of having hosting the particular winter olympics twice next important destination is geneva the beautiful city of this geneva if we are talking no is actually having all the association or you can say is actually associated with the river rhine the river rhine flows out of lake geneva okay and this alpine lake is actually shared by france and switzerland at the same time it is the switzerland's largest water body this city of geneva has fine parks many historical buildings it is the european seat of un that means united nation and often called as peace capital so talking about geneva the beautiful city of geneva is the one where this particular river lies to be corrected the uh, river lying here uh, lying here is actually rhone okay not rhine rhone river is actually lying over here flowing from this particular uh, lake geneva this alpine lake is shared by france and switzerland and this particular is Uh, the uh, is it is actually considered as switzerland's largest water body many of the important cities of switzerland lies close to this place only and therefore this city has a major number of fine parks many historical buildings etc the european seat of united nation is the one it is having 
and it is often called as thief capital along with this there are various bedrooms of uh, the lord of the castle then has beautiful murals murals means paintings in that the same case shillan castle is there etc grand halls are there underground rooms medieval paintings are the one that is available in this beautiful city that is geneva next we would be learning is about zurich zurich is actually one of the largest city of switzerland this city spreads over bank of the river limath this particular city has the major hub of railways as well as airways that means it is having a major hub of rail and air transport this serves as a gateway to alps at the same time it is also considered as a global center for banking and finance it attracts tourism for or it you can say it attracts basically tourists so the tourism is basically uh, uh, you can say grown here okay or it is basically attracted here at the same time not grown uh, at the same time it is basically uh, just in that case attracted here because of museums art galleries theaters opera houses etc along with it its own ballet company is also there this place zurich has its own ballet company many tourists came here used to visit this area this place takes train ride from zurich to other mountains which are available here nearby and thus enjoys an excellent view repeating this again zurich it is the largest city of switzerland it at the same time have a major hub of railways and air transport this city spreads over both bank of the river limath at the same time it is actually considered as a global center for banking and finance art galleries museums theaters ballet company etc are the factors that attract the tourist to this beautiful city many tourists enjoy the train ride from zurich to the other nearby mountains because of this hub only now railways and air transport hub it serves as a gateway to alps next destination is rhine falls rhine falls if we are talking this is the place which lies at 150 meter wide waterfall on rhine what happened this place is located where it is located at 150 meter wide waterfall on the river rhine from where the river spills over a ledge of rocks the best time to visit this place is from june and july when the mountain snow melts and the fall swell in volume or you can say actually that fall actually get more of the volume which time period june and july that is the best time to visit this place rhine fall boat trips up to the rhine provide excellent view of this fall there are viewing platforms also lying on to the river bank rhine fall if we have uh, are supposed to again discuss it rhine fall is actually lying at 150 meter wide waterfall on the river rhine where the water spills over a ledge of rocks best time to visit is june and july at that time snow melts and the fall actually swells up in volume boat trip to the rhine provides an excellent view as well as there are many viewing points or platforms on the river bank at the same time the seventh place that is lucrin this is a pretty city lying on to the lake lucrin this car free city is known for the musical concert, concerts and orchestras from having concerts hall to transport museum and the chapel bridge this is chapel bridge etc are major attraction in this city so therefore it is a pretty city that is actually car free belongs from medieval period famous for music and concerts and orchestras has an excellent concert halls transport museum and the chapel bridge is uh, actually the quite the major tourist attraction of the city 
Last one on the slide is Bern. It is the capital of Switzerland. It has Switzerland's tallest cathedral and a clock tower also at the same time, which has a moving wooden figure that rings the bell. The city at the same time has several museum, shopping, arcades, and a rose garden. This was all about Bern, the capital of Switzerland. It has the tallest cathedral and a clock tower, which is famous of the wooden figure. It is having a wooden figure that rings the bell. The city also has several museum, shopping arcades, and a rose garden. The last topic given to you on page number 87 is all about what to eat and what to buy. So in order to summarize that paragraph up, I had written here just the products itself, what to eat. Then Switzerland is famous for its chocolates, various kind of cheese. Then there are two particular dishes also written, which are made from typical, these are the typical Swiss dishes made of melted cheese and the dishes made up of grated and fried potatoes. These are the things that you can eat once you are visiting this place. Talking about what to buy from watches to clocks, Switzerland is known for them. Many tourists also buy from here. Cuckoo clocks, other things that tourists commonly buy from here are Swiss army knives, cowbells, handicraft, chocolates, cheese, and wines. That's it. This was all about the chapter. The chapter therefore is completed. Thank you.